Good morning and welcome back to ASNT News here on your Monday, December 9th. Always great to welcome Topeka Police Chief Bill Cochran here on the show. Good morning. Good morning. Well, it's hard to believe we're already uh, getting into December. The end of the year is nearing. And uh, the big question, you know, is as we enter into a new year, what are the biggest uh, wins we've seen here in the community for law enforcement as well as the bigger challenges that we're going into the new year with? Well, any win for the uh, police department is a win for the community. So that's important to keep in mind. I think some of the big things that uh, we need to highlight, you know, is a partnership with the sheriff's office that we've developed. Uh, we're really uh, working on uh, the drug task force and getting that up and running and enhancing those efforts because that'll have a direct impact uh, on all crime, property, and violent crime. Uh, unfortunately, this year our shootings are up, our non fatal shootings are up. Um, and so we'll be uh, rolling out a crime prevention plan that uh, will be focusing on violent crime and specifically youth violent crime. We have seen an increase in that. And uh, unfortunately, uh, young people are getting a hold of guns very readily. And uh, the unfortunate thing with young people is they don't think through things a lot before they act. And so when they have those means, uh, they become fatal a lot of times. And so we're really going to be concentrating on that and uh, focusing on the non-lethal uh, shootings and assaults. Uh, we're working with PERF, um, police executive research firm, developing a, a template that will be utilized throughout the United States. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the efforts that we have going on already. We have a great uh, partnership that we're going to be developing with the ATF that will focus on uh, those type of things. So uh, really excited about the plan that we're going to be rolling out uh, here around the first of the year, F finishing up a few things, getting some training done. But uh, uh, feel very confident that that plan is going to have a huge impact on crime next year. All right. Well, uh, good news to share there this morning. Of course, it is the holiday season and uh, a lot of events going on, of course. I know you want to mention one here. Yep, the Red Stocking Breakfast. Uh, my wife and I are the honorary chairs and we're very excited about yes. that. That's coming up this weekend uh, at Carlos O'Kelly's from uh, 7 in the morning to 10 in the morning. So uh, very excited about that. And give us the details on who that benefits. Uh, that uh, sheltered living is uh, who that benefits. And so it's... Uh, is a great, great community event. It's a way to bring people together and uh, support a very a local clock, uh, local cause that really needs a lot of our support. Carlos O'Kelly's this Saturday. That's a, a everyone needs breakfast, and this one's for such a great cause. And you know, we're also getting some reports about some police uh, who do this probably every year that are you know spending their own money to help kids and give back uh, to families in need this holiday. Uh, season. What, yeah. What's going on there? Uh, well, um, it's the most wonderful time of the year, they say, right? Yeah. And so uh, law enforcement officers, they deal with young people throughout the year, and sometimes those calls or those contacts uh, make a direct impact with those officers. And so sometimes uh, they feel obligated personally, Christmas time, to help out young people in need. And we do have quite a few officers that, that spend their own funds to help make sure young people have a good Christmas. And then, of course, we have uh, the annual Shop of the Cop this Saturday as well uh, with the FOP, the FOPA. And uh, can't thank Walmart enough for the general support that Walmart's really is providing this year. Absolutely. Well, Chief Cochran, thank you. A good reminder, too, that officers are just like us and uh, want to help give back and connect with people here in the community. Great to have you on. Thank you for the update here. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We thank appreciate you. you being here.